So hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you are new, welcome. I'm Glains. You guys, in this video I'm going to show you. This video is actually a video that I filmed I think for like more than a year ago. I think like almost a year and a half ago. Yes, but I was looking through my stuff and I saw this video and I thought I need to share this with you guys. So in this video I'm going to show you how I will do a marble nail. I will use some gold, you know, some sparkle. <laughs> so maybe you're wondering about my t-shirt or my uniform. I'm wearing this when I give classes and you guys I told you that I will be giving online classes. The online classes that I will be giving now is I think in two weeks. I will put the info in the description box below. And also, if you are interested in the online classes, go and follow my Instagram that I only have for people that want to follow the online classes. I will put the link somewhere or the name of the Instagram somewhere here in the screen so you can go and follow that group. It's a private group. So I will be posting information only about the online classes in that group and only if you are interested, you can go ahead and follow me so we can make a little group to, you know, to the live online. The online classes are live and yeah. Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you some marble nails. I really hope you are going to enjoy this video, but before you go and enjoy this video, go ahead and follow me on my social media accounts. I will put them here in the screen so you can go and show some love and then come back and let's get right into it. Okay, so this is how the nails look after I applied a thin layer. Uh, of clear acrylic and also probably nails of course um, I don't know if I just can find that part of the the, the video uh, or that I just didn't film the prepping part but I will put a link in the description box below of another video of mine that where I explain how to do the prepping and I'm using our frosty I'm sorry we don't have frosty online at the moment and a dark gray acrylic that I don't know where I've got it from I think I've got it a couple of years ago in Curacao when I was there on vacation so I don't know I think it's from tones but I don't know I'm so sorry that I don't have a link for you guys for that color and also that I can't sell you the frosty <laughs> I'm so sorry about that but soon I'm working hard to get back the web shop and all the products and more products so I'm just using a small bit first at the cuticle area a small bit of the frosty to cover the cuticle area first and after I'm happy with the coverage at the cuticle area I'm going to make these swirls uh, make sure you work in small beads because you want to like swirl them and make them like the marble marble them <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean but you want to work in small amounts because you don't want to have a thick nail because you also have to encapsulate the nail after you are done with the design so work in small amounts and not too dry beads you want the beads to be a little bit wet so they can like marble into each other so make sure you work in small amounts and keep using your brush at the side so you can keep your shape so you don't have to fall too much when you're done with your application and now when I'm happy with the marble I'm going to use a bigger bit of clear acrylic to encapsulate the whole nail Now I'm repeating that step on all the 10 nails.
hey are you still watching if you are still here watching this satisfying process but you're not subscribed yet girl go ahead and subscribe to my channel yes go ahead click the notification bell so you are the first one to know when I post the next time okay <laughs> Okay, so this is how the nails look after the application. I actually think it's just gorgeous after the application. I already like it like this and also like matte. Mm -hmm. That would also be a vibe. I'm using this medium bit. I think this is a medium or a fine grid bit from Kiara Sky. I will put a link for you guys in the description box below to smooth down the nail and to shape it a little bit so I don't have to shape a lot with my hand file. Now I'm using this triangle bit that I'm using. I actually don't use this bit anymore. I use a cuticle carbide bit to get into the cuticle area because I've ordered this one and the like the pointy part wasn't that pointy but then I've ordered it again and it was too pointy so I don't use these anymore. But I will link the one that I use now in the description box below and this is to clean the cuticle area and to also uh, like make it like thinner at the cuticle area so when it grows out it grows more neatly is it a word neatly i think so <laughs> well now i'm using a under nail cleaner bit to clean underneath the nail to also make the nails clean underneath and nice and so you don't see those excess small little things anymore and now i'm using my hand file to perfect the shape Okay, so now I'm going to use my sunny juice. This one is banana. I also don't have these ones in stock anymore. It's actually just 70% alcohol. They will be restocked soon. And I'm just going to clean the nails uh, before doing the design with the gold painting gel. 
Okay, so now I'm going in with the gold painting shell from our website that is also not available at the moment. I'm sorry. <laughs> or I mean, I don't know. I don't know if they're in stock yet. You just have to go. I will put everything in the description box below so you can check it out. And the liner from the gel bottle to make like thin small lines um, to make the marble more. I don't know, just pop it a little, just pop it a little bit more. Okay, so after I've cured the painting gel under the lamp, I'm going in with our glossy top coat to top off the nails and then also put it under the lamp to cure for like two minutes. Okay you guys, this is the final result. I really really like this end result. I just think it's classy. It's not too much, but it's not too simple. I, I just love it. It's I just love it. Pretty pretty pretty. I hope you like it too. So this was the end of the video. Thank you so so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. I really hope you have liked it. Learned something. That's the most important thing. I hope you have learned something. If you want to see something else, let me know in the comment section below what you would like to see in my next videos and I will try to make it happen. Don't forget to share this video with everybody. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and turn the notification bell on so you're the first to know when I post the next one. Alright. <laughs> Thank you so, so much guys. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.